Hey everyone, this is Josh with a fun security tutorial for you today. We're going to be talking about social media account takeover scams. Uh, this is something that unfortunately I have seen friends fall victim to uh, and lose social media accounts, uh, particularly Instagram, uh, to these types of attacks. This applies to all sorts of social media sites that scammers might want access to, uh, but this is something I've seen uh, particularly on Instagram. So I want to talk about how these scams work, why scammers do this, um, and how you can prevent losing your account to one of these attacks. So let's first talk about simply what the goal of this particular type of uh, attack is, and that is for the scammer to gain full access to your social media accounts, like your Instagram account, so that they now own the account and they can post uh, perhaps a, pretending to be you or changing the name to use it for some other purpose. And here's how this scam works. It's fairly simple in its mechanics, but the social engineering involved can vary depending on the person that's trying to take your account. Most social media websites, Instagram included, have a forgot password or password reset feature. This allows you to regain access to your account in the event that you, you guessed it, forget your password. So if you go to Instagram and you type in your username or your phone number or your email, um, you can get a link sent to the phone number that uh, you provided to Instagram when you set up your account. So uh, for example, you go, you type in your username, uh, you say, I forgot my password, you get that link, and then that link uh, is a secret link that can be used to reset the password access to your account. The idea is if you forget your password, uh, Instagram has some way of verifying that you are the real you uh, because you have access to your phone number. So what scammers try to do is they use social engineering and some type of story to get you to give them that link. So the scammer goes to Instagram.com, types in your username, uh, and hits password reset. While they're in a chat with you under their account, uh, trying to trick you into sending them a screenshot of this link or copy pasting the link into that chat so that they can use it to reset your password and take over your account. Uh, I often see them spin a story such as, hey, I'm participating in a contest and I need friends to vote for me by giving me this link that's generated by the contest. Um, there's all sorts of different stories they could use. They could say, oh, you know, my account's going to get locked if I don't verify that I'm real through a couple friends. It really could be anything. But the end goal is always the same. It's somebody that has either already taken over a uh, real friend's account or they use a fake account that's similar to a real friend. You know, maybe you have a friend uh, with the username Josh123 and uh, they create an account with uh, replacing the O and Josh with a zero. So that if you read it quickly, it looks like it's the real account, but it's actually a fake one. So again, there's a number of ways that it can accomplish this goal of getting you to give them your password reset link. So how can we prevent this? Well, the first thing is simply what you're getting right now with this video, which is education. Uh, you should know that you should never share uh, something like an IG.me link with anybody that's asking for it. There is no legitimate reason that anyone uh, will ever need one of those password reset links from you. The entire idea is that if you forgot your password, you get that same secret link that's valid for a short period of time and you can use it to regain access to your account. But anybody that gets that link can use it to get access to your account. So no support, no friends, no family will ever need a link like that. Don't give it up. The second thing that you can do is enable two-factor authentication on your account. 
if somebody tries to pull a password reset scam on you and you slip up and give them that password reset link, something like two-factor is an extra step that they would have to get through in order to fully take over your account. Um, scammers will often try to trick you into giving them a 2FA code also, but the fact that they start needing more information from you might give you a hint that somebody is trying to do something wrong uh, and protect your account from a full takeover. I recommend using 2FA for any online accounts that you have because it's an extra security measure in the event that your password gets compromised. Now, a final question you might be asking, and certainly one that I've asked, is why do scammers do this? I'm just some guy. Why does a scammer want access to my Instagram account? Like, if you're me, my Instagram account is full of computer science education and active stuff that I do. Like, I don't make money off of it. I'm not an influencer. Why would anybody want this? Well, scammers need legitimate accounts to perpetuate other types of scams especially ones that ultimately get them money. So it's very easy to create fake social media accounts, but scammers want ones that have organic followers uh, in order to do things like cryptocurrency investment scams, where the ultimate goal is to trick you into sending money to them uh, in a way that's not reversible. Scammers might also use legitimate accounts that they take over to do things like advanced fee fraud. So for example, replying to Facebook Marketplace ads and tricking uh, sellers of goods into giving them money through something like a fake check scam. There's tons of avenues that scammers ultimately will use to perpetuate uh, the type of fraud that gets them paid, right? They wanna separate people from their money. Uh, but oftentimes, in order to separate people from their money, they need something as simple as a legitimate looking account first. So again, these types of scams can be on any sort of social media platform. But in particular, I've seen this one a lot on Instagram. Uh, so it's important to remember to never give anybody uh, this type of private information like a password reset link. And of course, like any other type of social engineering, Scammers want you to act quickly. They don't want you to take a second and think about what is being asked of you. So do that. Take a second. Step back. Say, it's kind of weird that my friend is talking like this. I've never heard Josh talk like this before about entering contests. Um, this seems odd that I'm being asked to give a link that was sent directly to my phone number. So taking a little bit of time to think through can really save you a lot of headache uh, in the future. Security is about prevention, security is about education, and a lot of times security is about the human element. So not breaking systems, but breaking people. And if you take the time to think and to educate yourself, you can prevent yourself from being another victim of these type of scams. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and informative. I hope you stay safe online and out there. And thank you as always for learning something new with me today.